All right, here we go. DigiDez Nation, we're back at it. We finally have a new box opening video. So a huge shout out today goes to DXN Outpost where I got this box today. Not only <clears throat> did they give me my alternative being box, beautiful, illustrious, amazing, but they also gave me the free Shoutmon card sleeves. I didn't order these. I, I didn't put these in here. I saw these in the corner of the box and I thought I mistakenly got someone else's order. So you know every SR we hit today is going inside those leaves instead. So without further ado, let's bust open the box and let's get into this alternative being today. Here we go. Let's get the box open and let's see what cards we pull out. All right, here we go. The plastic, it's off. Alternative being's ready to get popped open. Hopefully we bust open some good cards today. I'm excited about this one. Uh, the new package that came out really really enjoyed the look of some of the cards in here now It brings up the question Is it really worth it to buy a brand new pre-order box because I waited a little bit Just because I was overseas so I waited for a little bit uh, I didn't want stuff to come while we were gone and then ended up getting this box for super duper cheap I mean 54 bucks and they sent me card sleeves. I mean come on man like seriously, what more could I have possibly wanted out of that as you get going? Um, take a look at the card sleeves before we kind of get in there. Uh, always wanted to buy Digimon card sleeves, but they usually end up being just hella expensive. Double packaged up, I really like that. These are sweet looking sleeves, I tell you what. They're an amazing looking sleeve, and we're going to use those for every great card we pull today. So, without further ado, let's start busting into packs here. we got our nice little promotion pack where we pull out the digital translator card out of there nice little card right there start our piles over there as normal and away we go so we'll start with rippy tabs and see how those goes it's been so long since i ripped open a pack of digimon cards i am out of practice obviously bruh bruh hey there we go Take Mine. Yeah. finally got uh -huh. you open holy lord i am so so bad right uh, gabumon here we go, Terriermon. Oh my god, we start to look at the artworks. It's adorable. Oh, that was cute. It's adorable. Look at it. It's adorable. Peckmon, Skull Knightmon, and Telamon, Trident Gaia, Cherubimon, Galmon, who just looks all sorts of pissed. This man looks so pissed. Black War Growmon, Greymon, Falcomon. He's looking quite cool. Playing through my, uh, Austin Digimon Survive, gotta love your Falcomon, and Kazuamon as an SR, that's gonna get hit in the brand new Sleepies, and away we go, I mean, look at those things, they're just so great, they're really, really good, Kazuamon's a nice little pool, it goes for a nice little bit, it's not the most outrageous card, it sells for a couple bucks, I do believe, last checking, and away we go, hey, a rip tab that actually ripped the whole way through like a boss, uh, Tarnished Hero, Deadly Axemon, Galgamon, Gabumon, Terriermon, it's just so adorable. Trying to Terriermon, is this the same pack? Black War Crowmon, Black Gargomon, Gaia Reactor, Rise Gray, cool looking card, excellent. And Terriermon Assistant. The alt art of this is adorable, it's one of the most adorable cards I've seen. 100% uh, one card that I wouldn't be... There's other cards I'd like to pull in terms of value, but that card is just adorable, and I would not mind pulling it. As we go to the third pack, we got Full Metal Blaze, Agumon, Fake Agumon Expert. That artwork is actually really cool. If you see, you got the Lotmon in the background just kind of chilling over here, just kind of hanging out in fear. Gyomon, Greymon, and Teelamon, Heaven, Judgment, Black, Rapidmon, Pinamon. Digital Translator, we just got that one right there. Cherubimon and Shadow Seraphimon. Cool card on the rare. Very cool card on the rare. God, I love when rip tabs work. Just make open up packs so much easier. Peckmon, Skull Knightmon, Full Metal. I feel like I pulled so many of those, but we are in an EX set, so we're going to pull a lot of the same. Here's Agamon in his dark modeling phase. Missymon and Metal Greymon, Falcomon again, and Cherubimon again. So we pulled a couple of the same rares already, too. Um, but yeah, with an EX set, you know, you're going to always, always going to have a lot of the same uh, kind of common, uncommon cards kind of coming through there. A lot of the time is this Rip Tab just gives me the biggest struggle bus right there. 
Um, but yeah, you're always gonna have kind of the same ones kind of rolling through. Um, but, oh, that artwork, sorry. That just stopped me completely in my, completely in my tracks. That's beautiful artwork. Uh, Random that's also just amazing, amazing artwork. Um, but I think uh, one of the big things uh, as we get Shadow Seraphimon and Chris Gurumon, that's another SR hit, and that is a solid one to pull out as well. Um, but I think that what happens with some of these sets are um, they're not holding their value as much anymore, and I don't really know why. Um, alternative beings holding strong and digital hazards holding strong, but not a lot of their boxes are holding strong like this. It's only been out for about a month or so, and I've already got it for $54 when they originally sold it for about anywhere from $70, $75, depending on the places you would go. But, I mean, that is a big jump down Sunomon. Um, and a nice Galmon. And the Medieval Gallantmon as my first alt art. Hopefully we're pulling multiple alt arts today. That is a great looking alt art card as we get in there. But... You know, what I was saying is, like, the, uh, as we try to focus again, there we go. Um, as we kind of venture into these boxes, like, they're just losing their value right away. The sunlight beams just are fantastic. Hopefully, we don't kind of get ourselves into a thing where, like, getting a pre-order is not going to be worth it. Because if you're patient, like, you can just get boxes for cheaper. Which, like, for me, it's, like, two different things. One, I like being able to get boxes are cheaper <laughs> but two like for the health and wealth of the game like um if these boxes are getting so cheap that means like the value of all the cards are just not going the way you want them to go and as a person does a ton of collecting and very minor playing um that kind of hurts me a little bit um as we get i get the uh, mock galgamon and the Dark Nightmon as my two rares there. Uh, that Medieval Galamon, great card though. Um, obviously, I kind of want to pull one of those burst modes or something like that. That Medieval goes for a little bit, but not a lot. And some of these Rip Tabs are just... The, the always on this channel, Rip Tab or no Rip Tab. I might have to go to the back of the pack again. Tetsuya Kremon, so cool. And Telamon, one of my favorites always. Galmon should have a stogie in his mouth. Mock Galgamon and Dark Nightmon again. <laughs> same. same. Yeah, I think we're going back at the packs. Now, being said, back at the packs would be annoying too. There we go. All right, got the Gabumon Black there. Terrier Mon, it's still adorable. Skull Nightmon, Terubimon, Diomon, Graymon, Rap Black Rapamon, Pinamon. Henry Wong and Suzy, aka Su Chong, and Chaos Gallantmon. That's a cool looking card. The dark version of Gallantmon. Going to rip tab here. Oh, see, see, problem is, if you don't hit that rip tab right, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh. I think it is to the back of the pack I go. I think I'm one of those guys. Tarnished Hero. I say that and every time I try to use them, and they just don't go well. But I'm really enjoying these new sets to get the Coco Mon. I don't think we've seen that one yet. Um, Henry and Su Chong and Blitz Gray Mon. That's a nice SR. That's a cool looking SR. But um, as these sets kind of diminish in value a little bit, it just like takes away from the set a little bit. Um, I think they've done well in the recent like BT sets of. Um, actually providing cards that um, are alternates on the alternates. Um, a little bit more special to kind of chase after, and that'll kind of keep the values up. Um, and they've done that with um, Dimensional Phase. They did that with Versus Royal Knights. Um, they've done it with a few other sets over time, but I think it just needs to be something more of a staple. You need to have some bigger chase cards that are a little rarer to get. Um, carry on, Nay Nance, first time I pulled that one. But you need to have some other cards in there to like, kind of pull those out. Um, that needs to be a thing. Uh, otherwise, I feel like the sets will diminish rather quickly. And this is one of those sets. Like There are some really excellent cards in this set. But they're just not holding value. Because as people open more box, there's more out in the market. Matt and Ty, cool. And ha -ha, the Grey Knightsmon. As the... 
alt art pool there. That's a very nice looking card. Texturing is very cool on that one. So, so far we've pulled two really cool SRs, not two really valuable SRs um, with those pools so far. And most of the time you'd be going, oh no, we're kind of at the end of the hits, but this is an EX set. It's possible for there to be more hits than just that as we keep on going. It's half the time I do back to the pack and half the time I do rip tap. I don't even know what I'm doing. But as we get going here, fake Agumon. I think we've probably seen most of these. That Lotmon is still adorable. But we've probably seen most of the common cards in here. Renamon, Wendingo, uh, Yoko, which, you know, that's more of a Japanese translation. The Gold Vidramon, that's a different rare card in there. It's very cool. And you got the Cherubimon. I'm a really big fan of this Cherubimon artwork. Really big fan. Get back in focus there. Get back in focus. Get back in focus. Please, please get back in focus. But this Cherubimon is really, really nice. It's a really cool artwork as you get going. As the camera just does not want to focus up at all. But it's a very, very cool artwork. One of the cooler ones, I feel like. I usually don't have problems getting these stuff in focus. Making things fun. Gaussmon, Gurumon, Tarnished Hero, Deadly Axe, Geo Gray, and Teolamon, Trident Gaia, and the Blade and the Bullet. Galmon, just doing his best depression phase. Uh, Ami no Arabari. Yeah, I butchered that. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, and then the Plaque Mega Gargomon. Very cool. That SR is a cool looking one as well. Again, not the, mo the most uh, valuable, but a cool looking one as well. Grey Knight's Mon, Medieval Gallant Mon, our alt art pool so far. I really liking our pool so far. Galgamon, Gabamon, Terrier Mon, this is adorable. Peck Mon, Teruvi Mon, Gilmon, Black War, Metal Grey Mon, very cool. And Keenan Crier as our first one. I do not want the Keenan Crier. I've seen everybody and their mom pull that all art, and I just do not want it. Please, thank you. He's one of the, I find the least interesting tamers out there, my friends. I'd be okay not pulling it. That being said, I'm probably going to pull it. Agumon Expert. Oh, baby, baby. Yep, that'll do. That'll do. The Omnimon Alter B. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that'll do, everybody. That'll do. Oh, look at that. The texturing. Get the secret. Oh, the secret. Oh, that's, uh, that's brilliant. That's really nice. The texturing is fantastic. Wow. What a card. Yep, you can go right over that 100%. Might have possibility of one more. Might have one more hitty in this box. Are we making our value back in this box? I don't know. We might be, actually. Skull name on. After that card, we very may wipey. Oh, my God. Dude. Crazy. Heaven Judgment. Renamon. Pinamon. Digital Translator. Dark Mail Dramon. Galmon we've pulled already. And Agumon Expert, which we've pulled already. Whoa, black. I got Gargamon. Come over here. Yeah, uh, this, this these, these these cards have been good to us. Three great hits, three awesome looking cards. The Male Bergeron, the Lopmon. Thankfully for my wife, I have pulled many of the Terriermon and the Lopmon cards, so she can have a few of them. It's like two of her favorite Digimon, even though she doesn't really follow Digimon, she just thinks they're adorable. Uh, Ravemon as the SR right there. We shall definitely get a sleep on that. And Ravemon actually, if I recall, actually goes for a nice bit, actually. I want to say that that card goes for like a good maybe, I don't know, 10 bucks or so. Just very popular in decks right now. Um, so if I wanted to, I could just like turn around and sell that and make a little bit of profit on it. Um, you know, in many of the places that you can sell Digimon cards at, but not really what I'm known for doing. 
I like to hold on to my cards and stack up that stockpile I have. Uh, I'm going to go a bit further through this kind of faster because we're just hitting a whole bunch of cards we've already pulled. If we hit something different, we'll stop. And there we go with the Omnimon Alter S. That's just the SR version. Still a very nice looking card as we go through there. Throw Omnimon up there. But yeah, it's, this has been very, very good in terms of what we've been pulling. Lopmon, Housemon, Garudmon, Tarnished Hero, Deadly Axe, Wendingo, Geo Gray. We're just steaming through all of these. Gold V and the Cherubimon again. Hey, it's better this time. We can actually see the card a lot better. The stupid thing is just not, uh, it wasn't picking it up before, but wow, you can pick that up. I really like that Cherubimon artwork. I got that Alt Art Cherubimon not too a while ago on the on the channel. Really like that one too, and that one's kind of diminished in value, unfortunately. It's such a great looking card. It really deserves a lot better than that. As we just start steaming through, and Telamon hanging out. Agumon, and bam, Metal Greymon. We got three packs left. Hopefully we can pull another alt in here. Or a secret. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't complain about hitting a secret. Secrets are fine in this set as well. Alright, Skull Nightmon, Full Metal Blaze, Agumon, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Simon, Metal Gray, Yukumon, Keenan. If this is a Keenan Aldar, I may punch him on the forehead. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh yes. Oh yes. Fantastic. We just made our value back in this box. This is a box that I can guarantee I made more than $54 on it. Guarantee. Oh. The Shine Greymon Ruin Mode Secret Rare. That is phenomenal. Wow, what a card. Look at that. That is amazing. Let's keep giving you all the close-ups and all the replace it. Look at the shine on that thing. Oh my goodness, the shine on that thing. That is fantastic. What a card. What a stinking card in the sleeves. Looking good. Oh my god, what a card. Okay, two packs left. We're not getting anything serious out of these. Uh, <laughs> let's just go gripping and ripping on these last two. But, oh, my God, what a card. Um, but, yeah, this set uh, has diminished in value to the point where you can get boxes for... A, I got it for $54. Um, shipped to the house. All the good stuff. Uh, but you can honestly get this thing for, like, 52 bucks now. It's just diminishing in value. I don't know why. This is a fantastic-looking set, in my opinion. This is a really good set. Um, I just did my Ranker video. Um, you know, I have a feeling this one's going to end up being one that's pretty high off my list. It's really good as we get out of focus, but who really cares? We're blasting through it. Here we go. Terry Mon Assistant and Rise Graymon. But this is a phenomenal, phenomenal set. Let's grab all the hits, kind of go through them in random order here. And away we go. So you got the Medieval Gallant Mon. You got the alt art with the shining kind of rainbow uh, sunshine to it. Amazing. You got the Grey Knights Mon. Oh, it's just, that's so good. The Shine Cray Mon Ruin Mode. I mean, absolutely disgusting. Kreskaru Mon. Rave Mon. Is this, uh, this card sells for some more than the Alt Arts. Ridiculous. Black uh, Black Mega Gargo Mon. The Omni Mon Alter B. I mean, this thing has the secret as well. It's fantastic. Blitz Grey Mon. The Omni Mon Alter S. Very classic looking card. And Kazuamon is our hits for the day. That has been a nice episode of Digest Nation. If you enjoyed the video today, please like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this coming out in the future. Uh, that being said, we have another box sitting right beside me here. We're about ready to record back to back on these videos to bring another box to you coming up real soon. So I'll talk to you later next time in Digest Nation. Have a great one. Thanks.